Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... Sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday... That's too many big words. actually happen. He said too many big I words. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Right. Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Uh... <laughs> um... No? Let me refresh No, of course memory. not. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming oh, an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, Fuck. we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Wasn't that bad? You were involved in bullying Nathan Preston. I helped him. Well, I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. We helped him. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Oh my God, we helped him. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. No, we didn't bully him. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Well, okay, leave me out and of Chloe's it. Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. Ooh. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real. And serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? <laughs> no, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really I was just about to say that. That was answer. good. <laughs> that was good. Miss Price. Ah, oh, shit. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, 
You're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? I feel like... That's you have no stupid. right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... she's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Ooh, Price. Ooh, you get him, Joyce. Mrs. Hey. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, Ooh. but I assure you, it is only your daughter's oh past God. behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of the Tempest. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me. Oh how my to god, run my that's school. that's bullshit. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, <sighs> accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, Ugh. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Oh, that is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Oh my god. may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events it was as i prefaced the proverbial last straw in light of your many past transgressions i have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year god that was the other girl's idea she confessed and she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve chloe of her responsibility you know what i used to think chloe was exaggerating you, but now I see that she didn't go nearly far enough. Mrs. Price, let me remind you that Chloe's case for reinstatement begins now. Her actions and those of your own will be weighed carefully when the time comes. Do you understand me? Both of you. <laughs> I understand that you're a fucking Chloe. <laughs> we understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. This is bullshit. 
That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. 